Ah, yes. I like this. Song one, huh? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's this one. Hi oh guys, hope you're doing well. Today, we're at prison. Well, Dak Prison is just behind me there. We're not in any trouble. Uh, not yet, anyway, we'll see what happens. But uh, we're actually checking out a house not far away down the soy there. And uh, it's pretty close to the odd house we saw in the field, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Uh, very close to Tesco Big C, which is only a couple of hundred meters up the road there. So very central location. So we've got an action packed video today. We've got house tours, we've got big news and even got a grapefruit update. So yeah, all very, very exciting. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the house, so I'll see you in a bit. So the 7-Eleven main road is just there and Tesco's literally stone throw away. And nestling behind these dragon fruit trees, there's actually one growing here. One of my favourite fruits here in Thailand is the, uh, the property itself. And it actually still looks tidy as it well as it does in the Facebook ad. You've got a little bit of frontage uh, on each side of the drive, which well, this part of the drive seems to have been newly laid. I mean, I think it's a new house. I didn't. I don't know what it said in, in Facebook ad. I couldn't make out. It looks new, and it looks like a good finish too. But just waiting for the agent to arrive. Five minutes later. Right, the agent's just arrived. We've got like a carport here. And you've got all this, uh, this frontage. You get two, maybe even three cars in the front here. Now, the uh, agent said it's a renovated house. And uh, there he is. Howdy, <laughs> Cup. Now, the place does need a kitchen, apparently. Hon Yang Mei Sain. Yang Thai, okay. Don Don Tam Eng, mate. No, Don Tam Eng. Don Tam Eng, okay. So you've got to put the kitchen kitchen in yourself. And uh, got a toilet around here. Which is a ah, it's an adequate finish. Got an outside toilet. What's around here? Oh god. Ah, yes. I like this. Hi, me a shop. <laughs> My wife like, likes the idea of the old urinals. You got, uh, looks like you've got some, are these double glazed? Let's have a look. Could well be. Windows at the back. Uh, what's around the side here? A little passageway. So that's the outside. Yeah, the kitchen. I don't know, you need to spend a bit of money on that. So, a uh, bit of a disappointment, but... The actual front of the house, as like I said before, looks nice and it's been uh, renovated to a pretty high standard. Now you've got a front entrance here. And you've got a side entrance. Okay. All right, we've got a split level, so you've got a little, it could be a TV room or an entrance room here. Stairs onto a main living area, which is pretty big. All right, how are we doing for plug sockets? We've got quite a few, we've got one over there. Ah, we've got quite a few, nice corners. This is coming out into the front. Yeah, it's got a very nice feel to it. Nice breeze coming through. And there's quite a lot of light in here. You have got neighbours on that side. Uh, Song Hong Nong. So two, two bedrooms. There's two bedrooms, three toilets. A nice little architecture or border around here. It's quite a, a good sized room. Would be the master, obviously. And do we have a an ensuite? Yeah, it looks adequately finished. The tiling. So you've got your ensuite there, and uh, 
Yeah, these are those windows. I don't know anything about the, the double glazed windows. It looks, it looks double glazed. I'm sure people will let me know uh, if they're not. Not much of a view, no mountains, unfortunately. Okay, that's the master. And we've got bedroom number two in here. Similar finish. It's pretty good size. And uh, yeah, same windows. A bit of backyard. And it looks like we have another ensuite here. Got fire and light. Yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. The finish. It is a renovated home. And yeah, I quite like the different levels. You know, I'm into my split level. So uh, yeah, uh, this could be, uh, I don't know, a sitting area. The kitchen is a bit of a disappointment, as I said. You've got another sitting area along as you come out. There is a lot of outside space, and yeah, you could fit a very nice outdoor kitchen in here. But you'd have to uh, pay for it yourself, which uh, is, yeah, not, not, not all that great. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of space outside. You could do with an extra, extra bedroom, really, for, that, for the price, the asking price. But anyway, let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. Yeah, this looks like it's newly done as well, this, uh, this cover. So yeah, 1.75, centre of town. Probably need to spend 100,000 on it, to be honest. But yeah, not bad at all. All right. Yeah, as I said before, it's pretty central. You've got your 7-Eleven. Uh, blocking the traffic. Sorry, mate. Uh, I can just make out the big C sign from here, actually. So yeah, you, well, you probably need a scooter, and uh, the wonderful back prison just over there. We'll have a little investigate of the area. I'm pretty sure there was a a little house for sale down this way. Anyway, thank you to all the uh, new subscribers to my new channel, which is basically wake up, which is basically what I'm doing now, but without the waffling and yeah i'm really enjoying it making these videos exploring my hometown where i'm living i'm not sure it's this one i'll have a little walk anyway so uh well vaccines yeah annie's had her they're, they're vaccinating all the school kids and she's had her first shot of pfizer and uh but the second shot's only three weeks later so i'm not sure if that's correct but anyway and i've registered um, I heard that the Cinevac has run out and that's why I didn't register before because I don't really want to, uh, well if I want to travel to the UK they only accept certain vaccines so I've registered waiting for my email. I know there are guys that are all anti, anti-vaxxers anti but I live in the real world and if I want to go back to the UK and come back to Thailand then yeah I have to get vaccinated. There you go. So yeah. This is what the new channel is kind of like. It's just sort of checking out places. I'm not sure where that place is. No! And I no! also meet a lot of dogs on my travels. No! But uh, I think it was down here, this house for sale. No! It was for 850,000. I think it's the no! yellow, yellow one here. No! No! Yeah, it's this one. It did look better in the Facebook pictures, but 850,000, what's that, 20,000 pounds? But the inside looks quite nice. Oh, there's the back end of uh, Dak Prison. A little guard tower over there. Oh, and we've got a, a noodle shop opposite as well. So, uh, and tattoos, if you want a tattoo. Well, not for those poor guys. And they're directly opposite of 7-Eleven as well, which have the best snacks in the world. So it's a little bit of a... Well, yeah. You do the crime, you do your time, I suppose. 
All right, I'm very excited. I've got some big news, and uh, yeah, we're just on our way there now. And this chap is why I'm so excited. Only four kilometers from my house. I'm getting a Lotus Go Fresh. Look at this. Yeah, I'm only about four kilometers out there. I've had my eye on this for a while. I wasn't sure what they were building. And now I'm excited. I've stopped here a few times. Doing a bit of rendering there. What do you have? Ig song one to Berla. Song one, la. Oh, dun den, dun den, Oh, dun den. Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's not Tesco anymore. I think the CP guy owns this stuff now, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I don't think I'm going to get steak and kidney pies and uh, fresh camembert, but you know what I mean? For the middle of nowhere, I'm very excited. I don't know what they're doing here. They're putting in a, uh, putting in a big post. And uh, we've, got, we've got a jungle cafe as well. So what's happening in my area? Oh, song one, huh? Oh! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and we're not well it's, it's closer than the 7-eleven 7-eleven's about a kilometer down there but uh, i'll still be going there the girls are lovely in there so uh yeah i bet you're glad you stuck around to uh, hear that news right <laughs> it's big news for me anyway look at that yeah Fantastic. And as if that wasn't enough. So my local uh, my local uh, convenience store has extended her shop. More goodies. It's like having Fortnum and Masons at the end of your street. Fantastic. Look at that, you get Barbie stuff. But they've extended it all the way back here bigger beer fridge but I don't, I'm not drinking beer anymore which is a bit of a shame I'm just gonna get a bit of milk look at that it's massive it's fantastic the old trusty Thai Danish body car warm quang no? <laughs> oh it's very big um manao do I cup Get some uh, some limes from my uh, my lemon and ginger tea or lime and ginger tea. I still got to try one of those pink eggs. So yeah, anyway, maybe in another video. All right, cap. Yeah, look at that. Shop in heaven. That's where I get my car done. Opposite over there. The yellow mirror is still there. Good little runner. Well, I've still got huge puddles in the garden and haven't sorted out the tree that's fallen down. I'm getting bitten already. Uh, the little river at the back is uh, it's calmed down. It's still not as bad as it was. And for those who uh, were hanging around for the grapefruit update, well, shameless attempt by me to get people to watch the video for longer. But uh, anyway, I don't think it's, uh, it's changed much, to be honest with you. So uh, yeah, all the grapefruit fans out there, I apologize. Oh dear, right, let's get in. I need a shower after all that walking around. Oh, real suck, Deacon. Oh, I feel better. Actually, yeah, if you do want to say that after a shower, well, generally, you feel better. Real suck, Deacon. Is that correct? Real suck, Deacon. Ah, not bad. Anyway, we've been chucked out of the, uh, the other office. We're back in here. It's not as good lighting, but anyway, we'll work around it. Right, there we go. Quite a long one today, but that's just the way it, it worked out. And for that house, well, I was thinking on the way back, it could be a plus that you don't have a kitchen. You could uh, always negotiate the price and get exactly what you want put in there. And you can get a Thai built kitchen, I reckon, uh, built there for, I don't know, 10, 15,000 baht. It's very basic, just a concrete shell and some tiles. But the outside area I actually really liked. Anyway, uh, yeah, mixed bag today. And yeah, very excited about the new uh, Lotus Fresh. And um, concerning uh, cameras, actually, I've had a quite a lot of comments in my Facebook or messages about starting YouTube channels. Now, if you do want to start a YouTube channel, you don't want to be in front of the camera, because believe me, yeah, if you've been up all night, I don't know, Asian cows here keep me up, you know, I'm up four in the morning, I've got to finish a vlog. I don't want to be in front of the camera. So if you don't want to be in front of the camera, you want to lose some weight, 
and, and you can get one of these. DJI Pocket 2, it, it's, it's what I do my walking videos with. And what I like about it, it it's a gimbal. It's not electronic stabilization with the GoPros. And this camera here that I'm using to record this, the Osmo Action, when you're walking, it's got a kind of, I don't know, like you're in a computer game type effect. This is a natural stabilization and you can uh, explore your local area, uh, upload your videos to YouTube, and you never know, you might be able to make some beer money out of it as well. The only negative is if you're recording in 4K, is editing in 4K, you need quite a powerful computer. I haven't got that, well, I have to, it's quite difficult. But because there's no editing really, I just stick the walks together, maybe a little bit of text, bang, you're done. It's not, it's not a lot of serious editing on these type of videos. So yeah, if, if, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would uh, seriously think about this camera, uh, DJI Pocket 2. I got this for 9,990 off Big Camera, the, the, uh, the website here, it's a camera shop franchise. And they also chucked in this, uh, it's like an extension rod, uh, which you can attach your phone to it. This is worth about $100. And uh, you can get, yeah, you can get some good shots with that, but you look like a bit of a numpty walking around. So I, I, just, I just hold it. And it looks like you're just, I mean, it's tiny, look at it. Um, and it looks like you're just looking at your phone, but you're actually wandering around filming stuff. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the subscribe button. I'll also leave a link to my other channel, which, uh, which has a lot less waffling in it. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to say stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.